Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I want to discuss with all of you a very important aspect about paradise. We all know that uh, paradise is the ideal noble world which will come in the world hereafter and it is a society where all the pious noble people will be gathered together. But what is the criterion for paradise and how do we determine that a person is deserving of paradise? How do we know about ourselves that we are on the path of paradise and that we are developing in ourselves a paradisiacal personality or a heavenly personality? So this is the subject that I want to discuss with all of you today. And I read about this in Maulana Wahiduddin Khan's very important book called Ar Rabbaniya. And here Maulana quotes a statement by Imam Ibn Taymiyyah. And he says, Imam Ibn Taymiyyah says that there is a paradise of this world. And if a person has not tasted the paradise of this world, then he will not be capable of entering paradise in the next world. So this is a very profound statement by Imam Ibn Taymiyyah and we all need to reflect on the meaning of this statement. Because the question that arises is what is the paradise of this world? What do we mean by there being a paradise of this world? So the paradise of this world is the deeds, the actions and the attitude that will take us to paradise in the world hereafter. And having a taste of paradise in this world means that these deeds and actions which will take you to paradise become beloved for you or become very dear for you in this world, in the life of this world. Now in other words, we can understand it in this way by knowing that paradise or entry to paradise will be a very joyous experience. It will be a very happy experience for the person who enters paradise in the hereafter. But the deeds and actions that will take this person to paradise will begin to give him joy and solace in this world itself. And this is the very important point which we have to understand. So what are those deeds and actions? What is that attitude that gives a person joy in this world? And I will try to give you some examples. So we know that in this world, in the life that we lead here, we face innumerable kinds of experiences. We have varied experiences. Many of our experiences are unpleasant. And during the course of our lives, in the events that we face, often we develop complaints for people. Now generally a person would want to seek revenge for the complaint that he develops against someone or if he does not actually go out and seek revenge he would at least voice out his grievances against those whom he holds responsible and he will lament about it or speak about it out loud so this is generally the attitude of an ordinary person but someone who finds who who seeks paradise and someone who has tasted paradise, such a person will find happiness, such a person will find peace when he forgives the wrongdoer, when he forgives those whom he thinks have wronged him. And doing this will give him joy, doing this will give him happiness. Similarly, we see that when people acquire positions of power over someone or over a group of people, then they tend to unjustly take away people's rights. But a true believer, someone who is deserving of paradise, 
who makes himself deserving of paradise will be very cautious about fulfilling people's rights even when he is in a position to abuse his power and abuse his strength and very importantly an experience that we all often have is that there are times when emotions such as hatred for someone jealousy and anger fire us with rage and our speech and our behavior immediately comes under the influence of such powerful emotions but for a true believer a person who is very sincere about paradise he will find happiness not in flying in a fit of rage when he experiences these emotions but he will find joy and happiness in wiping out these emotions from within his personality he will take great care to not let himself be polluted with these feelings so this is the picture of such a person and when people have negative opinions about someone he will have or he will hold positive opinions about that person even when there are reasons to be negative so such a person adopts the path of paradise such a person adopts the way of paradise and in doing that he feels satisfied he feels content and this contentment this joy is the paradise of this world and only a person who finds contentment and satisfaction and solace in the deeds of paradise is a person who has discovered paradise and will be admitted to paradise in the world hereafter so we all understand a very important principle and that is the path to paradise is not a path which will be full of ease and comfort it it will require immense patience on our part it will require immense uh thankfulness gratitude it will require immense sacrifices on our part but generally when a person is patient when a when people are patient over some kind of unpleasant or difficult circumstance you see they they are patient because they feel that they are compelled they are under compulsion they have no option to be patient and on the outside they are patient but within themselves they are full of anger they are full of resentment and they even express the fact that they are very sad about having to be patient over something unwanted and unpleasant but the mindset of a person of paradise is very different when he is patient when he is tolerant when he is forbearant then he is extremely calm about it he has no bitterness he has no anger from within he does not feel that he is losing out because of his patience he is totally content and satisfied with his attitude so this is the meaning of being at peace when you're doing or when you're adopting the path of paradise when in this world the path of paradise gives you peace that means you have discovered the paradise of this world and this is what makes you deserving of being admitted to paradise in the world hereafter so this is a very important criterion a very important principle based on which we can judge our own selves our own inner beings we alone know the state and the condition of our heart the condition of our soul we can ask ourselves real questions about what is it that gives us peace is it the path of patience the path of endurance the path of sacrificing for the sake of god that gives us peace or is it revenge is it uh anger venting out our rage and being extremely bitter with people if that gives us peace if that gives us happiness and joy then we should know that we haven't tasted the paradise of this world 
So this is the very important message which I had to share with all of you today. And once again, I want to emphasize that this has been taken from Maulana Wahiduddin Khan's Ar Rabbaniya. And this is a book which I highly recommend to each one of you. If after every prayer you read just one chapter, one page of this book, it will really transform you from within. It will deeply connect you with God. And it will help you understand what is it that you have to do to connect with God deeply, to strengthen your bond with God and become a person whom God would want in his neighborhood in the world hereafter. So Jazakallah for seeing this and may God Almighty bless you all.